this okay so I connect this got here a bunch of wire and now the other side which one is it let like see D E A B first because you don't want to mess it up you know which one you gotta use and then of course I do the same thing with this uh, pair of wire together and then I label them so I know which one go with what this one connect like this Alright, basically you just connect the Y1, go to the neutral strip up there, and the ring one, go to the either because they use the same thing. And then after you connect there, let's see if you want to connect the C, okay, connect the E. So I make E right here. That's an E. You remove the wire, black wire from six breaker E, and then take a red wire, go to that hole. The black wire. You connect with the black wire. You just remove that with the, the wire nut they provide. Uh, anything you can connect them together, but we use a wire nut in this case. So, all right. Let me do that. Alright, here what I did I call the Y1, the Y wire go, the Y and ring from the sub panel go to the neutral one so and then see I remove the the black wire I remove from the circuit breaker I connect to the pair, the what pair cable from uh, transfer switch so the red one go to circuit breaker and then the black one connect with the black one with the wire nut of course you have to cut it so you don't get the long wire inside so you got to do that the same for all of them and then if you get the two pole like this i mean if you have it my house doesn't have it this one 40 m but i say for 20 m okay not 40 m so you can you remove two of them and then depending what the transfer switch you have like before i got um a and b so I have to connect two red line, two red cable A and P, and then two black go the same. All right, that's make you 240 volts. So I go ahead do four of them. It's basically the same thing. All right. Then you have to cut the wire depending what range you have it. All right. Good luck.